Okay, hello everybody. I don't know what number this is for the Brooklyn to Germany vlog. So, I don't, what did I see last? I think I said I was looking for an apartment. Found one. <laughs> it's in a town called Fritchen. Fritchen. It's west of Cologne, west, very close to the university, the Deutsche Sporthochschule Köln. Um, I got invited by my friend to be uh, like a camp counselor for English camp, basically a camp for people from kids from Germany who want to learn English or whose parents want them to learn English. So they go to camp for about eight days and my friend invited me to do this. I said, of course, right? I didn't even know what my responsibilities were, right? Because he just said, you're going to do this for 300 euros? I was like, yes, 300 euros, of course. All right, that's good to pay for the rent for the flat that I'll be living in, which is like 400 a month, euros. So that's cool. First apartment I'll ever be renting out on my own. So that's really, really exciting. Uh, so when I spoke with the coordinator of this event and I, I asked her, no, she was telling me about the responsibilities and she was saying how, you know, a bunch of activities with kids and going to have some parkour to do for the kids. I said, really? I do parkour. And she said, really? I said, yeah. And she said, well, would you like to help with the instructions and teach the kids parkour? I said, of course. All right. And I told her what else I do, like capoeira and stuff. She was like, ah, zupa. All right. And so that's actually what I just came from doing. Uh, this is a nice little uh, path. I'm somewhere in Germany. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Hmm, today we did the parkour and then we played a bunch of games with the kids. These kids are awesome. German kids are so freaking uh, like disciplined. They listen well for the most part. I don't think most kids listen that well, but these kids listen. And uh, they follow rules really well. It's a very German tradition. Rules. Yeah. And uh, so after we did the parkour and the other games, I offered to teach salsa. And I taught them Cuban salsa. Well, the ones that wanted to, which were about like... Uh, about eight <laughs> eight kids and the other uh camp counselors that are here did it too so i taught them salsa and that was really fun and yesterday i yesterday was a day to time to teach capoeira so there was half of the kids got a chance to learn capoeira and they liked it they liked it they actually liked capoeira they liked what it looked like and they liked what it felt like to do it i have to speak very slow at this english camp i guess i speak kind of fast and um so I'm learning to like breathe more while I speak and that stuff. And um, yes, yeah, so school starts in a little over a week. And yeah, that's exciting. Also got a school email, a German school email address. Come on, that's pretty cool. And um, anything else that's going on? Oh, I got these, these cage-free farm fresh eggs from a local bakery. Yep, and you don't have to refrigerate them. That's the cool thing about these cage-free, farm-fresh, you know, eggs <laughs> that come from chickens that are taken care of. And uh, yeah, I'll make these once I get back to the city, and that'll be cool. Hello. <laughs> and um, and um, see, people are cool. Jeremy, hey, with a dog. Not on a leash, and it's next to her. <laughs> dogs, even the dogs are like, they listen for the most part. <laughs> and uh, this is a beautiful path. I'm walking with two of the German trainers. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I'll catch up to them eventually. But I needed to, needed to, you know, I don't know what to call it. I don't know. Refresh? Rejuvenate? No. Time. I guess time. Some solitude time. And <laughs> and I'm sharing this time with you. Cool. Why not? Alright. So I'll talk to you all again next time. Probably from a different location. Most likely from a different location. And uh, enjoy yourselves. Tschüss.